What is up guys, Archon Tanami here bringing you guys another YouTube video. In today's video, I want to talk about Comcast once again. So if you recall at the start of the pandemic, I talked about Comcast and their data cap that they were planning to lift for a couple months while we got used to life with the pandemic going on. And within a couple months, they reimposed it. They gave us an extra 200 gigabytes of data to kind of compensate for what's going on. While albeit I would have preferred unlimited data like the other internet service providers were providing during this time, like AT&T I think still hasn't imposed their data cap that they had before the pandemic started. Comcast, you know, being the charitable company that they are, they're just like, here, have 200 gigs and uh, you'll pay us if you go over. Great, right? And basically the rest of the video was me talking about where the data cap was imposed. Uh, basically it's the Midwest to the East Coast because they have a monopoly through there and all their customers are pretty much locked to Comcast if you want decent internet. Whereas on the West Coast you have Bios and a bunch of other companies that Comcast had to fight with and they were using the lack of a data cap as you know an incentive to partner with Comcast and get internet through them. Anyway, like I did in that last video, let's go ahead and do some math here. So Comcast was kind enough to give us the amount of hours you can get within a 1.2 terabyte data cap, okay? So 500, you know, hours, right? Divide that, we'll, we'll divide that by 24 first. So you get about 20 days worth of internet if you were to watch nonstop for 24 hours, which isn't going to happen. So let's do, we'll do eight hours. Eight hours seems you know, reasonable nowadays when you can't go outside and you're probably watching Netflix, Hulu, or any other streaming service by yourself. So one individual will have 62 days basically worth of uh, data on this data cap if you're only watching eight hours a day of video in a high definition. Seems reasonable, right? So let's do 500 divided by eight once again. So for two people, it now equals 31.25 per day. So now you have 31 days worth of data. So you're getting a little bit close to that monthly, you know, cap there, depending on what month we're in and how many days are in it. So let's go ahead and do this divided by three people. Oops, oops sorry, I did my bad. Divided by eight. Then you divide that by three. So now you're looking at 20 days worth of data split amongst everybody in the household. So it gets worse and worse. Actually, I think this is with four people because the initial uh, eight is 62 for one and then it, then it trickles down. So this is actually with four people in the household, which is reasonable nowadays with what's going on out there. Most family households probably have four people in there now, uh, especially if you're taking care of, you know, a family member or, you know, somebody had to move back in due to the pandemic taking their job and them not being able to find work right now. So, you know, 20 days. And that's not including gaming or anything else. This is just HD video streaming. So if you were to have, you know, two Xbox Ones in your house or PlayStation 4s or PCs that play Warzone, for example, that are 80 gigabytes per, you're looking at 160 in gigs just in one day because, con or because Call of Duty is literally eating all of your data. It becomes even messier and messier and messier from there. So the more people you have in your house pulled, the more this gets out of hand. It becomes multiplicative rather than additive in terms of how much data gets used. Uh, this guy, for example, this is a prime example of what I'm talking about. Our household has four Xbox Ones, one for each family member. The Call of Duty update is frequently 60 plus gigs per Xbox. Factor in 4K streaming. We won't factor in 4K streaming because you technically don't need that to get by. But yeah, 4K streaming will just shred your data cap instantly. Like, I think 10 gigs per hour or something crazy like that. So let's do this. 60 times 4 for his example. So 240. So basically, you're left with literally the old data cap in terms of how much data you have per month if you download one Call of Duty update over four systems. Uh, as for the response to him, hi Sean, for customers who regularly go over the 1.2 data cap, we offer XFi Complete, which includes the XFi Gateway and Unlimited for $25. For customers who own their own modems, we offer the Unlimited plan for $30. So basically, if you choose to go and buy your own modem and use your own equipment you have to pay an extra five dollars for the unlimited plan which is ridiculous though it ends up actually saving you five dollars because the xfi gateway has a charge i believe of ten dollars per month unless they've upped this since i last time i checked um and the unlimited would be 25 so you'd actually be paying 35 a month with the xfi gateway unless that's included and it's not saying it's included here so they're a little misleading as to how much you're actually paying a month for everything but I still find it a little ridiculous that if you go out of your way to pay for your own gateway, 
that or your own modem that you have to pay an extra five dollars like they're trying to force you into using their equipment forcing you to basically adhere to their rules and i get it it's their company they can do that it's totally within their rights but at the same time it's ridiculous so anyway let's go ahead and look at the article here that we were looking at a minute ago if you're a Comcast and an internet user, prepare for price hikes. The company is planning to increase the price of a variety of services starting January 1st, 2021, according to Ars Technica and a document detailing the various price increases being shared on Reddit. The increases include as much as $4.50 per month added to the broadcast TV fee, and up to $2 per month added to the regional sports network fee, which collectively would add as much as $78 per year. Because, you know, everybody can afford stuff like this right now during a pandemic where, you know, jobs are being lost and businesses are being run out totally makes sense to you know jack up your prices now in a statement to ars technica a comcast spokesperson confirmed the above fees as well as a three dollar per month increase for internet only service and up to 250 per month in increase for tv boxes on the primary outlet with a decrease of up to 245 per month for tv boxes on additional outlets this means the fee for someone's primary box is increasing from 5 to 750 per month while the fee for additional boxes will be lowered from 995 to 750 per month so while it looks like you're saving money if you buy extra boxes, you won't actually be saving money, I believe, until you have three extra secondary boxes. Because $2.45 is $0.05 cents, uh, under what the uh, increase is going to be for your primary box. So if you buy a second secondary box, you actually break even because it's minus $0.05 each time, minus $0.05 cents each time. So once you get three, you actually save $0.05. Cents. Interesting how they're uh, marketing this. Some TV packages might also see increases, but Comcast tells Ars Technica depends on the service area. In Chicago, for example, the Choice TV package is increasing from 25 to 30 per month. That's an extra $5. That's, that's a bit much. At the same time as these price hikes, Comcast also said this week it imposed a home internet data cap of 1.2 per month in more than a dozen states next year, which is the rest of the states that they are currently in. If people go over this allotment, they will be charged $10 per 50 gigs up to $100 in a month. That means it's going to be expensive to be a Comcast customer. Yes, if you we, we already did the math on this and this is their their way of charging you. You can, I guess, come back over here and you can pay $25 if you think you're going to go over the data cap in order to prevent having a data cap. So you do have an option, but the option realistically isn't much better because you're still paying an extra $30. And like I mentioned earlier, there's a pandemic going on. And from what I've heard, Biden is planning on potentially, or he's being advised to potentially lock us down for another you know, couple months, essentially. And that's going to kill more businesses. That's going to cost more jobs. And right now the job market's already a mess because people who are hiring again, who have been hiring for the past couple months after reopening, can be a little selective in who they bring in because they can look for people who have experience that were let go from another job and it just it causes a bunch of problems for the economy and people to afford stuff like i said most people are probably gonna have four people if not more in their household right now because of people being let go from jobs and having to move back in if worst case with a family member or maybe moving in with a friend to try to make ends meet so this is comcast just being comcast being greedy so for those of you who weren't on the data cap on the West Coast, welcome to the club, by the way. It's great. We have uh, turkey, leftovers from Thanksgiving. If you guys want a turkey sandwich, we have some of those. Welcome to the club. Uh, I'm sure that if enough people do put up a, a stink about this, then I'm sure that things will change, but it's hard to say. I'm, it, it's really going to depend on people speaking out to Comcast about this. Personally, I would love to see them get forced to increase their data cap to at least 1.5 because that's a bit more reasonable than 1.2 for a lot of people. Uh, as for the 4K people, I really feel for you. You go out and buy a 4K TV this holiday season and you think you're going to watch 4K video and then you find out you're getting this put on you and it's just not going to end well. You're going to be paying an extra $25 a month for you to have unlimited data because there's no way you're going to keep your data underneath 1.2 terabytes. Realistically, it's just not possible. Uh, I, I do find it interesting that they're kind of forcing people to to cut the cable, as it were, and just use internet. I know a lot of people nowadays are only using internet and they're streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, uh, YouTube, Twitch. I use Funimation for my anime personally. Uh, I find that it's it would be easier than having a cable box and paying an extra you know ten dollars a month when I don't know if I'd even use it all that much. It's just not worth it. I'd rather just you know have access to the internet and Twitch which is, they're also kind of hitting that too with the extra $3 per month for the internet-only service, but, you know, that's better than having to pay an extra, like, $9, essentially, for cable boxes as well as maybe my 
area increasing the cost of certain packages. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about Comcast. Let me know down below how you guys are feeling about this. You guys already know my thoughts on it. As for the people on the West Coast who are now being added to the data cap, like I said, I do feel for you guys. I was kidding earlier, obviously, about the, the club and that, but I do feel for you. It does suck. But let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys back here on the next video. Catch you guys later. Peace.